Hi there everybody, welcome, welcome back and welcome to another mould review and as promised we're into the 1 16th scale. I'll run through the, the normal dump that we do on these moulds. It's diorama debris, it's a silicon rubber mould. This is a 1 16th UK standard size brick, Imperial. Now it's, do, the, the mould number is double one six double O double six. Now it's produced in the UK and it's produced by RJ Norris. So we've got that bit out of the way. 1 16th scale bricks. We'll get this out of the mould, well, bag should I say, and have a little look. We have a total of 9 by 9. So we have 9 bricks down, 9 across, which gives us a total of 81 bricks per casting which is a, a, a fair tidy amount there's not a great deal of detail that you can actually see in these moulds because it's like with all these moulds you don't see it until you actually get your parts out but we can see the frog on the inside it's a big hefty mould as you can see and that is about as much as I can actually say about this mould so in great blue, blue peter fashion I'm going to go off now get some of these cast and we'll have a look at the parts when they come out the mould. Right I've been casting and I shall read this because I need to get it correct it's the UK standard size brick in Imperial. Now what can I say about these bricks? Not a lot because they are bricks very boring very straightforward but they are the building blocks. Uh, I have put a 135th scale one there next to it just so you can see the size because they are quite large bricks. Uh, casting wise the first cast as normal being a new mould we have the silicon uh, powder on which we did get some air traps but after that the second cast no problems at all no air traps nothing all came out lovely. Uh, what I actually used material wise was 50 grams of uh, Herculite 2 to 25 mils of water, 3 level spoon or teaspoon should I say of uh, brick dye which gave us that colour. You could actually go a little bit more if you wanted them a little bit richer but I'm quite happy with the colour they are. All in all a nice little mould, they came out nice, no problems, they dried really quick because they're, they're a sl slightly larger than the little tiny ones, the little tiny ones seem to dry slower for some reason, I don't know the reason why but these dried pretty quick, they're out the mould. All in all, a nice brick. Uh, applications, there's loads of applications for this, uh, I can see it being used on small vignettes to do hardcore at the back for 130, 116th scale uh, figures and bits and pieces like that. I mean there's no even stopping you if you've got uh, a 116th size tank you know to actually use this bricks and that and even build part walls and everything like that because they are a, of a size that you know you can actually pick them up and, and, ooh, and actually work with them so they're a good size and that is really all I can actually say about these bricks because they are bricks. Uh, the application is down to you and what you want. And with that, all I can do now is say thank you very much for joining me and hopefully we'll see you on the next one.